We need to make the vibe in here good. So we're bringing in Juddy Buddy, Jeff Judkins, Shooter McJudkins, the head coach of BYU women's basketball and a man who puts up with a lot from us, Coach. Thank you for putting up with us on a weekly basis. Well, we're going to go in the court after the season, and I'm going to get even. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we don't – this is our court. That's your court. Yeah, this is your court. I'm taking my court. There's a reason we invite you over, and we don't go over. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Coach, it's it's good being here. If you could vacate any result – in your former playing career or coaching career, and you're like, I just want to, I just want to wipe that one from the record. <laughs> what, what game would you take away? Well, there, there would be two for me, personally, and the first one would be when we, when I coached at Utah, and we were the final game, mm. and we lost to Kentucky. We were up 11, with eight minutes to go, and I look at Coach Daniels and go, God, we, we might win this thing, and then we just hit, a, I don't know. And we couldn't do anything right, and everything went their way. That's one. The other one would be when we went to the tournament, the Vegas tournament. We had a really good year that year. We won the league. We were 15-1. and one. We won our first game. And all we had to really do is get to the semis, and we knew we were going to the NSA tournament. We are playing Utah. We are ahead the whole game. And she hits that last second shot with .3 seconds or whatever it was hits it, the ball gets deflected, and she, and our player doesn't see it, and she hits that shot. And that cost us of not going to the NCAA tournament. So those probably would be my two. Man, I'm just bumped. <laughs> After that. <laughs> it is, it is like, oh, that's sad. Oh, oh yeah. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. Real positive. Uh, the Winter Olympics are going on right now. Are you, are you, do you have any time to check out the Winter Olympics? Yeah, I, 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 I had tape it, and, and then I fast forward forward the stuff I want to see and what I don't want to see. Like yesterday I was watching film and watching the the downhill. That's one of my favorite events. And uh, uh, Vaughn, of course, took a bronze. And uh, you, you just don't realize how fast those guys are going and and how they have to react. And you saw when they fall, none of them got up and were smiling. They were hurt. And so um, I, I really enjoy that. I enjoy ice skating um, when it gets down to the – finals kind of because i think i think that probably it's one of the most pressure sports mm. period i don't care what anybody says it's it's one of those when you've spent four years to prepare for that and it's all on you it's individual you yes. can't blame anybody you can't blame but else. yourself but yourself jeff judkins with us on byu sports nation uh Let's follow up with this Olympics question. Uh, if you could compete in a Winter Olympic sport, Juddy, which would you choose? I want you to say luge so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I probably would do skiing. I'd probably do something because that's, that's my favorite, I think, to watch. Um, or I wouldn't mind being Sean White doing some of those things oh, that he can do. But I couldn't see myself flipping around like that. But those probably those two. Okay, let's talk about the uh, upcoming West Coast Conference tournament here for a second, and then we'll talk about your games this week, which are very important. The seeding is really interesting. It's different than how the, the men are set up, okay? If you're in the top two, you come in on the quarters on Friday. But if you're in the top, you know, s- or bottom seven, you come in Thursday. Is it better to be the three seed where you know who you're playing? You no play question. the six seed, then the two or the yeah. one? The one's locked up by Gonzaga. You could yeah. be the two still. Well, if if St. Mary's Mary's lost and we won both our games, we would be the second seed. If you ask me personally for the tournament, the third seed's more of an advantage than the second seed. It's just because you know who you're playing. You win that game Thursday. You don't have to worry about Friday. You go in and you can prepare and have one more extra day. And people will say, well, it's no big deal. Well, we don't practice on Sunday. It's a huge deal. Which everybody else does. So that extra day would make a difference. The, but, but, you know, you don't want to be in third thinking for the tournament. You just have to go out. And, I mean, I'd rather be second or I'd rather be first, hunting, hunting for it. We, this year we lost a lot of close games, and it, it hurt. You know, you have to win those. You have to win at least half of them to be, have a chance, and we lost most of them. So hopefully we'll uh, come and play really well Thursday. Go to Gonzaga, play play well, and win, if we win that game, going with a lot of momentum in the tournament. And I know right now, there's no question to me we can win the tournament. We have depth to win it. We have a player who can can change a game instantly. Um, we've had players that have been there before. So, can we do it? Yes. And third seed would definitely make it easy. The problem is I don't know who we're going to play, but as you look at it, the third seed will play. 
either San Francisco, Pacific, or San Diego, and the second seed will play one of those two. So it doesn't really make a difference, um, really, who you know, who you're playing that. But one. you get the day if you're the number three seed. You get the Correct. extra day. You get the extra You'd day. play Thursday, then you wouldn't play till Monday, right? Yeah, we've tried to change that, but it's That's crazy. It's not going to change because the men feel, which I I totally understand, why should they let the eighth and ninth, ninth team play and the 10th and 7th play and then have a day rest and then play them. That's a big advantage. And so their advantage would be play Friday, don't have time to prepare, be tired, and give give the other team that, that opportunity. And I totally understand that. Fascinating ideology going into the West Coast Conference Tournament and how the bracket is set up. We're talking with Jeff Judkins, head coach of the BYU women's basketball team on BYU Sports Nation. If you were to explain your team at this juncture of the season – to, let's say, a broadcaster that hadn't seen a lot of your team and is coming in to call a game, how would you explain the dynamic of this specific team to that broadcaster? This would, isn't for me, by the way. I just want to make that Asking clear. for a friend who's calling the game, the game on already. Thursday. <laughs> um, I would say that um, we have a team that plays hard. I think we have a team that, that moves the ball. We have one of the most exciting players in Cassie who I think is one of the most versatile players scores in the conference um we have a freshman a six seven freshman that you look at and say you can just see that she's going to develop into a great great player um you know we have a player i think i think brenda chase is one of the, the at least when i'm watching film she's one of the most explosive um i think fun players to watch um, both her and Cassie if, are on. If you look at the stats, and I don't look at them until the end of the year when I have to vote for all conference. But Brenna and Cassie are in every single category, which is that means you're a good player. It means you've done something very well. And um, you know, I so I think you watch our team. I think we're getting better with our young players playing more confidently and what they need to do. I think. Uh, uh, Malia is is coming playing a lot better the last couple of weeks. She's played a lot better, and really, she's the key for us. People think it's Cassie, and they think Cassie has been pretty solid. Malia, when she scores and her defensive presence and what she brings to the team is really important for us. Then you beat teams like Utah, and you I mean you take it at West Coast Conference competition. Correct. Correct. It, when Malia played good against Utah, exactly. Malia played good against St. Mary's. Those are two games we won at home. Um, I think when she plays well, um, it really helps us, you know, that way. But it's, it's been – I'll tell you, it's been a hard year. I'm not going to lie to you. It's been a hard year because I've seen our pot- potential of what we can do. Um, and But hopefully we can just get these next two games and really go in the tournament with, with a lot of confidence. All right, let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. Okay, Starting guys. With Thursday. Yes, oh, nice. Karma, yes, the karma. spirit fingers are receiving yeah. the karma. Yeah. I wouldn't use that word, but yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's nice. Thanks, guys, for having me. Thanks, Joe. Hey, it's great to talk to you, Coach. Thanks so much.